Oh, that zombie's still alive. Well, I'm not gonna go kill it. Fuck that. <laughs> if it's not getting in my way, I'm not shooting it. Wesker! Jill, don't be looking for it. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Okay, now... We have to search this bottom floor. So, go down here, go around here, go to this. Don't examine that because that door is locked for a good long time. And, uh. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Calm down. And now, Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Fuck yeah. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. <clears throat> it's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. You're the master of unlocking. You got the lockpick. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens. Let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Once again, you're the master of unlocking. Okay. I also like how the sound effects in this game work. Sorry, I'm trying to, you know, turn down the volume. My remote's being stupid. Um, okay. Uh, first objective, we're gonna get a map. It's locked. An emblem of the helmet is carved into the lock. We need the helmet key. First key is the sword key. So let's go get the sword key. But first we have to get this map. Uh, this door is... that door... this door right here um, is locked. Locked by... locked. We need the sword key to go get into it. And as you can see there's something shiny inside that statue's urn there. So we're gonna just push the desk. Or a dresser, whatever the fuck this thing is. Back over here. Get on top of it. The, there's a map of the mansion first floor. Take it. And now we have a map, which is... You got the map of the mansion floor. Um, it's completely useless. Not even joking. Um, just to show you, there's a defense item... There's a dagger down here, but I'm not going to be picking it up. Oh, let me, let me show you. Will you take the dagger? And I'm not taking the dagger. Mainly for the fact that if I take the dagger, it'll trigger a zombie in here. And I don't really want a zombie to be in here, so I'm never taking that dagger. I recommend you guys don't take it either. Woman drawing water. Eh. Okay, now... Now that the map is done, uh, let's go and let's go back to that other hall and investigate uh, Kenneth's corpse. Maybe he'll have something on it on him that's completely useless, and that's not even a joke. It really is completely useless. Like right at the end of the game, you get to play. It, it, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. And as you can see, Barry is not investigating the dining hall, so. I wonder where he is. Investigate Kenneth's body. The corpse of your comrade Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's a film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Yeah. Th this is completely pointless. La like at the end, the very end of the game, you get to play it. And then at the very end of the game, you get to play it, and, w and all it is is death. It's a fi it's a it's a it's a ten second clip of him getting killed. Handgun, bullets, and there. And uh, if you can see, uh, Jill's reflection is getting shown up in the mirror. I find that very good work. The corpse is collapsed on the floor like it was uh, an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? Who knows, Jill? I I, I do. Um. But that would be major spoilers. Uh, take a green herb for the shits and giggles because Jill's like a fucking wet tissue. 
Jill takes damage like a fucking wet tissue. That's not even a joke. How? Like, that's not even a joke. Uh, we're gonna wanna get rid of that corpse eventually because it will become a very damn. That's odd. Normally he's like facing the other way. Okay, take the key item, the golden arrow. And in the main menu you can examine. And the arrowhead looks like it can be removed. So we got the arrowhead. And the arrow is made from, is made from Pyridot. Something referred to as a poor man's emerald. And more handgun bullets. And this door is locked from the other side. I don't remember how to open that one. And you unlock this door. And it should take us to the second floor of the dining hall. And there's a zombie, which I'm going to try to outrun. But first I want to get this dagger. And now we have a defensive item. So now when a zombie grabs us... Uh, now when a zombie grabs us, I'm going to set the defense to... Yeah, manual. Uh, manual means I have to press L repeatedly to use the item. If you put it on auto, it'll automatically use it. And now, what do we do with this arrow? Um, now, now what do we do with the arrowhead? Alright, we gotta go out back. I don't give a shit. Uh, in hard mode, there's zombies here, just to let you know. And you're going to be coming back here a good amount of times, because there's another puzzle, like, after the first boss that you have to do down here. And it, and it requires, like, four things. You put the arrowhead in the Cupid's bow, the tip of the Cupid's arrow, and it reveals this little crypt here that you can go down. Uh, and in this crypt, In this crypt, um, hold on, I might as well just go get the main item. Uh, there's a coffin hanging from the top here, uh, just letting you know. A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Uh, will you take the book of curse? Yes, I will. Um, now we're going to examine the book and go behind it. There's a key but in the back cover, and you remove it. Got the mansion key. This is the sword key. Now you open the book of curse, and it's going to tell you how to do this puzzle way later on. Book of curse. Four masks, a mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. So, uh, what you have to do is you got to get these things called death masks, and you got to put them on these things right here. And when you put all of them on, um, that that coffin will open, and a enemy will show up, and what, you kill the enemy, and it will give you me an important item, if memory serves me correctly. Um, that's gonna be a bitch with Jill. I remember it's, like, really easy with Chris, because, uh, that enemy is, like, really fucking hard. Because I, I think I remember that enemy being, like, really re retarded with Jill. Uh, but as, if you could not, if you didn't tell, like, so, now we have the first magic key, so we gotta, now we have the sword key. So now we can lock doors with the sword carving on them first door is the door in the map room. That's where we're going to start. And now, if I had killed the zomb- if I had had- if I took in the defense item in here, and the zombie showed up, I would have had to try dodging the zombie while trying to open this door. Use the mansion key. And when you run out of uses for the key, all the doors will- when you unlock all the doors that you need the key for, it'll prompt you to, uh, discard the key from your inventory. You'll never need it again. And that window, next time you come through this hallway, that window will break open. And a dog, a dog will be, dog, they're called Cerberuses. Technically, they'll be in here. Uh, handgun bullets under. Here. Take the handgun magazine. Gonna have to cut a clip soon. As you can tell, we're not really encountering that many zombies. 